really wants you to inject a little femininity okay. into your wardrobe. Just wow. a little bit. With this olive button-down dress worn over a black slip and some dark tights, look at these fabulous riding boots. Those are nice. Come on, these are gorgeous. Those and are nice. And a stone bracelet. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a little different, a little feminine, but that's okay. All right, let's look at the wild card. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. So. Maybe Ooh. you can save your bright orange vest just for hunting. You can wear this every day. You have a lovely navy vest over a couple of layered shirts, red and white, some great cargos, and cool tennies. <laughs> they're not high tops. No, they're cool. All right. All right. Let's look at the hair and makeup. All right, so this person would like you to have nice pale pink okay. on the eyes, a rose cheek, and mocha lip. I love this. This is gorgeous. I like the lipstick. I like the blush. It's pretty. It's light. It's not like you have a lot of makeup on. Right. You ready for the hair? I don't know. We'll find out if I scream or not. Okay. Here we so, go. Hit the it. Hair. All right. Ooh. So this person would like your hair cut to shoulder length with long angled layers that frame the face and a side swept bang, kind of like Kate Blanchett. And the color will be a deep golden blonde with tawny highlights, which you kind of already got. Yeah, that's that's pretty, actually. Well, so let's go to the next collection, see All right. how you're doing then. All right. Let's go. Here we go. Sporting new threads. Ooh. Please. Ooh. Ooh. Volunteer some time to dressing yourself, and you can do that in this lovely suede oh. jacket worn over a cream cashmere sweater and some dark jeans. Look, see, they're not high-waisted. They have a belt here, cowboy boots, and a very smart backpack and some little earrings. What do you think of this outfit? I, I'm dying here because I love that one too. See the earrings? Yes, I know. Thank you. Oh my God. I want them all. <laughs> well, let's have a look at the next okay. one. Okay. Talk of the town. Oh, I like that too. This is a way to update your tomboy look <laughs> in this. In this black tuxedo inspired suit, it has satin trim around the neck here and down the sides of the pants over a cream lace little tank, some ankle boots, a little tiny purse here, and some beaded jewelry. That's gorgeous. Wild card. I'm dying. Now. Oh, man! So even the yachting Whoa. club deserves a little effort. You've got this navy zip up over a printed tank and some khakis, deck shoes, a hat, glasses, some gloves, a shoulder bag, and this cute little scarf. What do you think? That is, I could wear it to anything. It's perfect. This is awful. They're all perfect. <laughs> this is awful. This is going to be a terrible, terrible choice. So let's look at the hair and makeup. Mm. All right. Now, this person also would like a neutral look for you. Mm -hmm. A shimmery taupe eye, bronze cheek, and a glossy nude lip. This is pretty, too. All right. So let's look at the oh, hair. here we go. Here we go. This person. This is cute. OK, so for the hair, this accomplice would like your hair cut below the shoulder okay. with a single side parted bang, long wispy layers like Helen Hunt. Mm -hmm. They would like for you to keep your natural blonde hair color. I like that, too. I love Helen Hunt. So I, tell me, what do you think okay. of this, the second collection? This has to be one of the broads, because only one of them would have gone for the Dorco hat. Let's look at the last one. OK, here we go. Sporting new threads. Ooh! It is time for you to step up to the mic looking smart and put together in this velour jacket worn over a purple hoodie and a horse printed t-shirt, which is very cool. Some dark designer jeans, Uggs, nice little earrings there, drippy earrings, and a large bag to put all your stuff in. Awesome. Let's go to the next app. All right, here we go. So. Talk of the town. Ooh. Men will see you in a completely different light when you wear this lovely, sexy black wraparound dress. Very different to work boots and flannels. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Mm -hmm. And some round toe heels and silver jewelry to finish it off, give it a real elegant look. What do you think? I bet that's gonna look like hoochie on me. So you go from here to hoochie in like one, one foul swoop. Yeah. You gotta learn the terminology. <laughs> Just wondering. <laughs> okay, let's go. Here we go. So. Now, you really need to update your active wear with this fabulous athletic physique that you have. So we have this pale blue zip up over a t-shirt and sweats and some great running shoes. What do you think? That this way? stinks because they've really all nailed me. So let's look at the hair and makeup. Okay, here we go. Now this person would like you to have pale pink cheek, some sparkling amethyst eyes, and a glossy plum lip. 
I like it all but the plum lip, which looks like I got caught in the cranberry juice. Well, let's save the hair now. Okay. So this person would like to see your hair cut just below the shoulders with long wavy layers and a soft sweat bang like Jessica Biel. They would like the color to be a warm honey with chestnut low lights. I don't know about the hair either. So I'm gonna have to think. I gotta see how everything looks too. The hoochie dress might look good on me. You've seen all three collections now. Yes. And I want to know, how do you feel since you came in this morning and how you feel now? Like when you started to see the shopping, you know, how did you feel? When you... I was terrified. But then you opened up the curtains and these clothes are like all me. You are going to get to try on all the clothes now. I know. You're going to have a little photo shoot kind of thing over there. I know, I know. You ready to do it? Yes. Yes, very much so. Okay. I can't wait. All right, so off you go. Thank you. Now. While Connie is trying on all her clothes, having a little photo shoot, my accomplices are going to be peeking in and seeing whether their collections are broadcasting loud and clear or if they're full of static. I got this one in the bag. Oh, I no can't way, wait man, to win. No way, man. That's all I'm going to say. Let's go, so, let's go, let's go. Okay. This is Sporting New Threads from Collection One. Oh, this is me. Oh, okay. This is me. I like, really like the jeans. Jeans are really cool. Oh, my. Wow. Oh, those jeans are great because they're high rise. They're not low rise for like a young. Right. If that jacket was a little bit bigger, it would, yeah. I think it would look this good. Is, this is Talk of the Town, collection one. This is a wow. very well known designer who did this, and I kind of liked it because it had a rugged look to it. Liked it on the mannequin, not me. This is the wild card from collection one. That's, That's Connie. Great. <laughs> and running shoes your as well. Right. The shoes are awesome. I could like run in these shoes. Like da 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 da. And look, wear. she could wear this to the farm and then out. I think Sherry picked this collection because of the shoes and the dress and the whole three outfits. It's a little more conservative, and I think that's what Sherry would pick for me. How do I look? Awesome, girly girl. This is sporting new threads from collection two. This look is me. That. This there is me. This is me. Look at that cowboy. Right. Yeah, yeah. Cow. <laughs> that's her. That's oh, her mechanical cow, bull thing. That wow. is the is that best. A leather jacket. It's a leather look jacket. At that. This is Talk of the Town, Collection 2. Oh, very nice. I like the tuxedo pants. Yeah. I can picture her picking up the men at the Yacht Club in that one. This is the Wild Card, Collection 2. Hey, oh, Skipper. Connie. Wow. Oh. oh. There you go. I like go. those shoes. Nice, sh nice oh, slip on. Oh, my gosh. She doesn't like the hat. But she looks good. The scarf. She looks great. Yeah. I'm going to say that Christine picked this collection out because she knows I really love khakis, and she knows I love sunglasses. How do I look? That great. looks great. That was really good. This is Sporting New Threads, Collection 3. All right, nice here's job. mine. Nice oh, my God. This is mine. I can't wait to see her in my stuff. Look. Oh, <laughs> my God. Look at the horses on the shirt. This is Talk of the Town, Collection 3. Oh. This is something Connie can wear, go from the barn, go home, put this on. She's oh, going to look beautiful. She's going to want to go out. She's going to be a girl. Look at those I mean, legs on her. Look at how pretty she looks. This is Wild Card Collection Three. She John, could even John, come to the. John. She could even come to XM wearing that, and she, it would be fine because it's dressy enough, but it's still really casual. Nice colors. Good really nice. Good push there. I think Jess picked this collection out because it's practical, it's comfortable, and it was colorful. How do I look? She looked good in everything. Yeah. Connie has made her selection. Now she heads to Aesthetica Salon for the next step in her transformation. Hi. Hi. Connie? Yes. Nice meeting you. Welcome to Aesthetica. I'm Nelson. Hi, Nelson. Let me take care of you. I'm going to take your length off before I give you a shampoo. Oh, my God. I can't watch. Is it done? Is it over? Christine, I hate you. Molly, I hate you more. And Sherry, I will get you. My mother is going to die. OK. Seriously, what is a good shampoo that I can buy that's affordable? Anything without sulfate. Yeah, sulfate, sulfate. normal is a cleansing agent in a product. Okay. That actually um, is really harsh. You have nice hair. Thank you. It's a little pampering, but it's fun. And I'm amazed at what she's doing in my hands. So water-based moisturizer, really gentle. Okay. Really gentle on your skin. And the reason it's important to remember water-based is because your skin is so sensitive. Mm -hmm. It's really normal after a facial to see a few breakouts because if it's a good facial, they're cleaning out those pores and you're gonna end up with breakouts as much as we don't want them. So with the lip liner, you really wanna make sure that you bring it down into the lip. 
lips so that when your lipstick goes on, it actually has something to hold on to. Up next, one of the broads sends in a pinch hitter when we reveal Connie's new look. Connie, please come out. Do you want to be on How Do I Look? Contact us at stylenetwork.com. These clothes represent three strikes of bad fashion from Connie's wardrobe, and they are officially out. Yay! <laughs> Joining me are her friends and family, and of course, my three accomplices, Shari, Molly, Molly. Yes, Christine fell ill. Oh, well, welcome. Sort of. Yeah, good. I'm happy to have you here. I hope Christine feels better. Thank you. And of course, our fabulous Jess. Now, Shari, you really wanted your friend Connie to value herself as a woman on and off the job and maybe find a beautiful, vibrant new look. So how did you do that for her in your collection? Well, Connie is sort of all work and no play. So I wanted to give her some opportunities to be able to play a little bit. So I got her some cool stuff that she can wear to work and then some cool stuff that she can play in. So she'll feel feminine and great, but still, you know, rugged enough to play with the boys at the firehouse. Okay, now Molly, you are in fact the third broad of this trilogy of broads here. Yes. So Christine really wants her to start out on the dating scene again with a little bit more of an inviting feminine look. And what do you think the reaction will be to Connie in this collection? From the men, I think they're gonna see a side of Connie they haven't seen. Yeah. You know, she's feminine, she loves men, and she hasn't been dating, and I think Christine did a really good job, you know, picking out the clothes and she'll just transcend. Jess. Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, now, you really want Connie to figure out a way to dress this wonderful physique that she has. Yes. So how did you go out finding things that will accentuate her body? I really wanted to keep true to who she was, but just show off that body. And I feel like with the pieces that I chose, I really kind of did now, that. Now, do you think that uh, this will inspire her to start noticing this great body she has and dress it? I do. Now that we've given her the opportunity to see how she looks in these certain things, she'll be more apt to go out, keep with it, and actually get women Women's clothing. All right, fantastic. I hope at least. Well, do you want to find out? Yes. Shall we bring her out? Okay. From strong enough for a man to dress like a woman. Connie, please come out. Amazing, come on you. Ooh. Holy moly. Ooh. Oh my God. You look so cool. Thank you. So I want you to accept this and I want you to hear this. You look pretty. Thank you. Is that cool? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I think I look beautiful. I think I look beautiful. <laughs> So what do, what do you think it's um, going to be like for you when you go out with the broads now? No. Molly, I think we'll have a good time. Yeah, I think, you know. Okay, so this is the Talk the Town from the middle collection, the second collection? Second collection. Okay. So how do you think this fabulous suit fits oh, your yeah. body? Oh, yeah, this fabulous suit is wonderful. Right? This is, this is really cool. Um, I like everything about it. It was like I owned it my whole life. Should we find out who put this look together for you? Yes. All right, okay, great. So would the person that has put this fabulous suit on Connie here please step forward? <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> oh. Don't look, the come here. Don't come muscle here. the makeup. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't wrinkle a suit. Okay, so now you're representing Christine, who put yes. this look together. But now, you know, Molly, how do you feel she looks? What do you tell? I think you look fantastic. Really, I'm just so happy for you. Really, it brings out the Connie that we know and love, but even more. Thank you. And how do you think that, you know, what it's going to be like when you guys go out? What do you think? I think we're going to have fun, don't you? Yes. I think we're going to have a lot I of fun. I think I'm going to get the guys. Now, I know she didn't pick your collection, Shari, but yeah. how do you think she looks? Given what I see right here, 
I do think you made the right decision. I really do. For you, I think that this is perfect. You look phenomenal. All right, Jess, how do you think she looks? I think sometimes you're altruistic, you give so much, that's great, but it's okay to take once in a while. It's okay to be soft once in a while. You don't always have to have that hard edge. And I think with these fitted clothes, not only will your eyes be open to different things, but I think your whole world, like new doors will open for you. And I'm gonna tell you one other thing, Connie, you look 10 years younger. Yeah, I do. <gasps> wow, I do. that's I right. You do. Yes. Okay, but now I am entrusting you two ladies, and also Christine, who's not here, yes. to make sure that she keeps this up. I want this for her. I want her to keep it up. Okay. All right. Great makeover, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Now remember, if it's been a while since you checked your style, just ask someone, how do I look? Goodbye. When Connie walked out on the runway, I, I, was, I was stunned. I knew she was gonna look great, but I didn't think she was gonna look that amazing. When Connie walked out on the runway, I couldn't believe what a lady she looked like. She looked great. When people see Connie, there's only gonna be one word, wow. <laughs>